Power Query in Power BI Desktop or Excel for Microsoft 365 users can now use fuzzy matching when comparing text items in separate lists if they're close to each other. And this means we can now match text with typos, singulars and plurals, upper and lower case, and other variations that aren't an exact match. In this video, Phil will show you how it works, including how to set matching tolerances. Fuzzy matching is the ability to match non-identical text based on the similarity of the different strings. You may have text that has been entered as the answer to a survey question, in which case you can't control what the respondent is typing. This can result in misspelling of words. For example, look at this blue table here with a list of companies and their products. It's clear to you and I that MSoft, Microsoft in capitals, and Micro Space Soft mean the same company based in Redmond, Washington. But if we want to clean up that column and replace all the different versions of Microsoft with a single consistent version, you can't do that with a regular match in Power Query. In my second table here, the yellow one named Table 2, I've got a list of companies with the correct names as I want them displayed. I can load both these tables into Power Query as connection only queries. Then from back inside the Power Query Advanced Editor, select either query and from the menu, choose Merge Queries and Merge Queries as New. First table will be table one and the second table, table two. And we're gonna do the join on the company column. You can see that Power Query is telling me it's only able to match three out of 14 rows from the first table. That's because Power Query is trying to do an exact match on the company columns. If I check use fuzzy matching to perform the merge, you can now see that Power Query is able to match 10 rows out of the 14. Let's see if we can make this even better. I'm gonna open the fuzzy matching options. This similarity threshold controls how the fuzzy matching works. As you can see, it says the option indicates how similar two values need to be in order to match. Minimum value is zero, and that causes all values to match each other, and the maximum value is 1.00. This only allows exact matches. The default value is 0.8, even though it's not shown in the box. So if I reduce this to make the fuzzy matching a little bit less strict, you can see I now get 11 matches out of 14. Let's try 0.6. No change. 0.5, no change. In fact, if I go all the way down to 0.1, it still stays at 11 out of 14. So 0.7 seems to be the best I can do in this case. So let's go with that for now. I'm gonna click OK and see what matches we actually get. So I've got a new column with a table in each row. Let's expand those don't need the column name as a prefix. And you can see that rows one, nine, and 12 aren't able to get a match. So what I can do here is use a transformation table. Transformation table is just another table from in Excel. It has two columns, from and to, and they explicitly state what the string in the from column will be changed to. Let's just close out of this. Back in the source sheet, I'm gonna create a new table. And this is gonna list the company names that I can't get a match for, which you can see are MSoft, GGL, and NFLX. Now I hope it's obvious that they are Microsoft, Netflix, and Google. This table, I've called it transform. So I need to load this transform table into Power Query. Just load it as connection only. And jump back into the merge query. Open up the source step for the merge. Open up the fuzzy matching options. Scroll down to the transformation table drop down. Choose transform. And you can now see that we're able to make 14 out of 14 rows match. Click OK. You can see that our expanded table has all the correct names. I can now get rid of this first column. Just rearrange and just rename that. And now when I load this, I've got all the company names as I want them. Well, I hope you found this technique useful. You can download the file for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.